for various reasons, you guys have had the streaks where you've, you know, lost some, won some, lost some, and I won the other night. How do you try to even that out so it's on the proper side of the thing, on, on the uh, proper side of the ledger, I guess, uh, and then the final nine games here for you? Yeah, we just got to be a little more consistent probably uh, through 60 minutes with some of those uh, those stretches where we haven't gotten the results. You know, they're games that we look at and we've created a lot. We've had the puck a lot and uh, arguably could have won. Um, but just some of the consistency, um, I think, throughout the 60 minutes, um, and just some of the details in our game um, that uh, may seem very minuscule, but um, obviously sometimes it comes down to one or two plays a night to be a difference. So just uh, sticking with it, uh, that's part of a long season. Part of the grind is, is uh, um, you know, finding that, especially when things aren't going your way or uh, th things feel more difficult. So we did a good job the other night, and obviously we got to back it up today. Next up, we'll go to Kristen Shilton, TSN. Go ahead, Kristen. Hey, John, you've been uh, able to produce quite a bit offensively lately. What do you feel like the strength is in uh, your game and, and how things have been coming together with uh, with William as well as you've gone along here? Yeah, I think we're just, just continuing to play and stick with it. Uh, obviously, we've had some stretches that uh, we haven't gotten the results. Um, but I, I, I think our commitment away from the puck and continuing to stay with that all season long and, and showing growth in a lot of areas. Um, and just 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 continue to, like I said, just to, to stay with it. I think we believe uh, um, in our abilities and the way uh, we can produce and, and help this team and what we're counted on. We know that uh, offensively is important. So um, just keep playing and, and staying with it and then continue to find ways to get better. Um, you know, and, and just looking forward to that next opportunity. So, uh, yeah, we just want to keep building and be consistent and uh, be relied upon in, in all aspects of the game. Hey, TJ, uh, we saw you flip around defensive partners for a couple games and then switch back with Riley. How important was that for you to kind of get a sense of playing with other partners in case there's injuries like we saw with the Gosian or whatever may come, you know, between now and the postseason? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's big to be able to play with – anyone in the lineup, um, you know, down the stretch, you never know, you know, what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, you don't have that time to adjust that you, that you'd have throughout the season. So, um, you know, it's definitely important. And the last one here, we'll go back to Mark Masters. Go ahead, Mark. TJ, how did you assess the team's performance a couple of nights ago? Is there any areas you're looking to, to improve on heading into the rematch tonight against the Jets? Yeah, I think just, you know, being clean around the breakouts, um, you know, I think that'll help us a lot. Um, we played so well in uh, the other areas that I think if we do that, it'll give us a chance to, to play in their zone a little bit more. Sheldon, I'm sure the, the focus uh, sort of uh, week by week here as the season winds down and heads to the playoffs is to make sure it focuses sharp. Uh, you guys are reaching peak potential, all that sort of things. But I'm wondering how you go about doing that over the final two weeks. How do you make sure everybody is rowing in the right direction? Well, we just continue doing the things we've done all season in terms of our preparation, our discussions. Uh, I think the players recognize that it's it's getting real close. You know, you've been building towards an opportunity to compete into the playoffs. And, you know, first we have to secure our position in the playoffs. Um, the guys sense that it's, you know, it's the most important and the best time of year here around the corner. So, um, you know, we haven't liked our results here for the last little while, save for the other night. And we feel like we've played good hockey, but good isn't good enough. Uh, you know, you need to find ways to get on the right side of games. And no matter the circumstances in the game, there are things that can be done to uh, give yourselves you know, the best opportunities to win. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're building towards putting together as close to perfect games as we can. Not an easy thing to do particular with the schedule being what it is this season and the level of competition that you're playing. But uh, we just focus on our process daily and, and you know, look to be as best we can and, you know, manage things on our off days appropriately in terms of our rest and recovery and, you know, just make sure you're sharp for the games.